वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लास होप यू आर वेल बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ ऑलमाइटी सो आम हियर उथ यू दिस इज दीपंकर दत्त लेक्चर डिपार्टमेंट अफ इंगलिस आनंदमोहन कलेज माइम सिंह एंड माइ कन्टैक्ट नम्बर इज जिरो वन सेवेन थ्री सेवेन जिरो सेवेन सिक्स नाइन फाइव वन दिस क्लस इज प्रेजेंटेड फर द स्टूडेंट्स अब एस एच सी फार्स्ट इयर एंड टूडे सबजेक्ट इज इंगलिस डियर लार्नार्स ड्यू टू ग्लोबल पैंडमिक सीचुएशन उइ कैनट मीट वन एन अदार फेस टू फेस सो दैट यू कैन एडभांस यूर स्टाडी द प्रोग्राम अब अनलैन क्लस हेज बीन एटेम्पटेड hope a good day will come very soon and we will meet again in our beloved campus then let's see the next slide here we can see the picture of two books one is english first paper and other is english second paper i think you have already collected or bought these books you know english is an international language so you must be skilled in english to cope with the modern advanced world specially in the previous years english first paper was only studied in first year but at present according to nctb both first paper and second paper are studied then move to next slide in english first paper you will get 15 units and these units are based on historical events literature biography and different social events or issues marks distribution of english first paper this paper is divided into two parts one is reading and other is writing in reading portion first test item is mcq questions and this questions carries five marks you know mcq has been set for testing the learner skills related to reading that is scanning skimming referencing etc then comprehension questions this question carries 10 marks you know open ended questions are given to measure the higher level of skills like comprehend comprehending analyzing synthesizing and evaluating and each question carries two marks then next item is information transfer or flowchart information transfer or flowchart has given for you to test your level of understanding then i will discuss it elaborately later and this question carries 10 marks 
the next text item is summary writing it also carries 10 marks summary writing is the main idea or gist of the passage without examples repetitions and quotations then in your question paper you will find three passages from first passage you have to answer mcq and often ended questions and from second passage you will find information transfer or flowchart and from the third passage you will get summary writing if summary writing comes from post portion then theme writing will come from poetry besides summary writing come from a poem theme writing will come from post portion it may be seen or unseen then question 4 or 5 close test with clues and without clues close test with clues question number 4 carries 5 marks and close test without clues this question also carries 10 marks you know close test with clues and without clues are selected for you to measure your vocabulary and grammatical knowledge then question 6 rearranging this question also carries 10 marks and it's very very difficult for the students to arrange the sentences however in this question 10 sentences are given in a jumble to a you have to rearrange these sentences according to the sequence then writing portion first one is paragraph writing this question carries 10 marks in paragraph writing you have to write a paragraph on the definite topic on the basis of the questions in your paper then next question is completing a story this question carries seven marks you know this question is designed to test the students creativity then writing informal letter or emails this question also carries five marks dear learners you know while writing an informal letter a student must be conscious about appropriate greetings and expressing the reason of his or her writings and the introduction would be developed in the next of two paras and the last para must sum up the letter and on the other hand while writing an email a student must be careful about email writing and its subject and its context 
then graph and chart writing this question also carries 10 marks and this question is set for the students so that they can understand a graph and chart and describe it elaborately. Then last question is appreciating short stories or poems. It may be seen or unseen and this question carries 8 marks. Dear learners, while appreciating a poem or short story, you have to write the underlying message of it. Then move to the other slide. Marks distribution of English second paper. In this paper, we will also find two parts. One is grammar part that carries 60 marks and other it is composition part. This carries 40 marks. In grammar portion, there are 12 test items. These are gap filling activities without clues with articles gap filling activities without clues with preposition gap fillings with clues such as some special words was born have to has to would rather had better let alone what if as if as soon as what's it like what does look like introductory it or there completing sentences use of conditionals phrase and clause use of verbs that's been right form of verbs changing sentences Narr narration pronoun reference use of modifiers use of sentence connectors use of synonym and antonym and punch punctuation every test item carries five marks and among these test items pronoun referencing linkers connectors and synonym antonym are very hard and difficult for the students so you have to practice regularly and more and more in writing portion there are four test items first one is formal letter or email writing that carries eight marks then report writing that carries also 8 marks then paragraph writing that carries 10 marks and last one is composition writing that's mean freehanded writing that carries 14 marks composition writing 14 marks I think among these test items, report is new to all. To write a good report, you have to follow the structure and the format of a report. However, I will discuss it later elaborately. Then move to the next slide. Actually, this is an introductory class. I try to focus 
the distribution of parts of English first paper and second paper elaborately then I'll try to come back our main session or live session thanks to all thank you